Hey, Tim Greer here with the Renai Technical Training Team in our dojo training room at our headquarters in Peachtree City, Georgia. You know, diagnostic codes 11 and 12 are by far two of the more common codes we see with our tankless water heaters. Now, similar to our code 10s we discussed in a previous session, code 11s and code 12s are almost always due to either improper installation, improper maintenance, or operation in a harsh environment. So in today's Tech Tips session, we'll discuss these codes, their likely causes, and how to resolve. Now, as always, refer to the installation manual and any other official technical documents for each specific model. And if you're not qualified to work on this type of equipment, please call someone who is. So codes 11 and 12 are actually very similar, so we troubleshoot them similarly as well. A code 11 indicates the PC board sent a spark into the burner but the flame rod never actually detected that flame. While a code 12 indicates that flame was detected by the flame rod, at least momentarily, and now it's gone. So let's take a quick moment to review some of these main components that we're going to be talking about. This is the igniter. A voltage is generated at this module to create a spark in the burner. Be careful with this. If you're qualified to do so and have the proper safety gear, you can remove this and verify the spark is there. But this component rarely fails. Now this yellow wire is the flame rod. The intensity of the flame creates a small current measured in microamps. The PC board can monitor this current to ensure the flame rod is adequate. Now some models, like our RE product, have two flame rods, the yellow and pink wires. So 11s and 12s have to do with the quality of the flame. So what do we need for flame? Well, we need oxygen or air, we need adequate fuel, and we need a spark or a heat source to generate the flame. Well, we've already talked about the spark a little bit, so we're gonna focus in on air and gas for troubleshooting 11s and 12s. Do you have adequate gas? Has a gas valve been turned off? If you're using propane, is your LP tank empty? Has your gas provider turned off the gas at the meter? Now each appliance is set for operation specifically for natural gas or liquid propane. Ensure you're using the correct gas type. Now if it's a newer install getting 11s or 12s, we wanna make sure the gas line has been sized properly. Unfortunately, we see this a little more than we'd like to. In FPA 54 in the US and CSA V149.1 in Canada, dictate gas line sizing for proper gas supply. Now, if this isn't correct, the water heater could be starving for gas. In fact, you could have enough gas to operate smaller fixtures, but when you're running multiple fixtures, especially larger fixtures, you could see those 11s and 12s. Now, if you'd like to learn more, Renai has a self-paced course overviewing gas line sizing based on NFPA 54's longest length method. Now, occasionally you may need to ensure your flame rod or flame rods are clean. Now, you can do this by removing this plate, but if you do remove this plate, you will have to replace this gasket. So you need to make sure you have one on hand to make sure it's the right part as well. Now, remember, you have to clean a flame rod very delicately with something non-abrasive. Finally, if you need to dig deeper, check out our Tech Tips sessions on removing burners and combustion fans. And on that note, if you do have the burner out, ensure the heat exchanger isn't leaking as well because that can cause these codes. Now, if you need any additional support, remember you can always contact Renai's call center. Thank you.